Before the first period bell even rang, the school day turned violent. Students described the moment around 8.30 this morning when a classmate suddenly turned on them. Um, I saw a girl with two knives, steak knives, and she was holding one above the other, and she was maybe a meter away from me. She had crazy eyes, like they were sh like shocked out. I saw a whole bunch of people running, and I looked like behind me, and the girl was like a foot away with the knives up in the air staring at me. Like we made eye contact. It was really scary. For others, there was no time to run. Six students and three staff members were stabbed. Four were treated in hospital. None of their injuries is life-threatening. Police credit the injured staff members for stopping the attack. I do know they had to restrain her, and they held her until police arrived here. The violent attack triggered a police lockdown. That's the gun. Remain in your classrooms until you are dismissed by the police. Students locked inside Dunbarton High School for hours as outside their parents waited. Finally, relief as the students were released. Yeah, I was very happy to see her come walking down the path. My daughter's my friend, of her, my, my friend. My, my, <laughs> now that I have um, Caitlin, I'm a lot better, but today has been like a roller coaster of emotions. So. Investigators aren't saying what motivated the attack, only that no particular student or staff member was targeted. Classmates say the 14-year-old suspect is quiet and keeps to herself. She doesn't really talk to a lot of people. A couple people told me like that I had class with her that she was kind of like upset yesterday and in a bad mood and looked kind of depressed, but that's all I've heard. The school's principal says that counseling will be made available to any student who needs it. Dunbarton High School will reopen tomorrow morning. Trevor Dunn, CBC News, Pickering.